This is an exploratory research project conceptualized and led by IBM's India Research Laboratory. In 2006, we decided to work on what we call bridging the digital divide because we thought a large fraction of humanity was being left untouched by the IT revolution. We have a first-hand view and the opportunity to bring IT into these people's lives to make it relevant and to help IBM address the new market of a billion new IT users. The Spoken Web project aims to do just that. The lack of literacy in certain parts of the world makes IT inaccessible to most people. People cannot read or write. In contrast, the use of mobile phones has a different story to tell. People may not be able to read or write, but they can talk and they can listen. In fact, while only 17% of the world's population uses the World Wide Web, nearly half the world's population now has a mobile phone. Our vision is to create a spoken web with the phone as the access device and voice as the medium. This does not require an internet connection, a PC, and will work for anyone, even someone who cannot read or write. Now let us see the spoken web in action. In rural regions, people often walk many miles to get information. Let us imagine a village entrepreneur. He gathers relevant information such as train schedules, grain prices, electricity outage timings, and the schedule of the mobile hospital. Such information, relevant locally, is usually not available on the World Wide Web. He then simply dials into his voice site and uploads all of this information in the local language, dialect, and familiar accent. Now, all of this information is available over a simple phone call. When a villager wants to access this information, all he has to do is to find a phone and call. Namaskaramu. Foundation Datata Gramam, Nermal Gramma Puraskara Vijeta, Chivalpalan Gramam Naku Swagatam, E Gramam, Bimaram Nanchi Padan the Kilometer Lodorum Lo, Murivere Randala, Janabato. This is a voice site in the Telugu language and provides information on training schedules, health information, and advertisements. This has been operational now for seven months and has received more than 100,000 calls with over 6,000 users. But this is really just one sample voice site, a VoI kiosk, which is a proof of concept. At IBM, what we really have is the capability of building and supporting an infrastructure that consists of a whole network of voice sites and voice links, which we call VoI links. Just as there are all kinds of websites, we can have all kinds of voice sites for individuals, organizations, e-commerce, and information. This network of voice sites constitutes the spoken web. Just as in the World Wide Web, we have voice sites and VoI links and the ability to surf, search, and transact on the spoken web simply by talking. Let us now look at an urban micro-business scenario. We will see that the process of creation of a voice site and how one can conduct transactions on the spoken web. Many plumbers and electricians, for example, don't have shops and are reachable only by their mobiles. Often, Missing a call results in a loss of business for them. They do not have an online presence. What if they have their own personal voice site for their businesses? For this, they ought to be able to create their own voice site. Just like an HTML page maker, which makes it easy to create a website, we have created a technology we call Voigen, by talking to which a plumber can create his voice site. Here is an illustration of the process of creating a voice site. Namaskar. 
चूंकि आप हमें पहली बार फोन कर रहे हैं हम आपको आपकी वॉइस साइट बनाने में मदद करेंगे शुरुआत करने के लिए कृपया वो बोलें जो आप लोगों को सुनाना चाहेंगे जो आपको फोन करे मैं मालवीय नगर में काम करता हूँ कारपेंटर है नाम मेरा सोहन लाल है धन्यवाद ग्राहकों की सूची बताने के लिए वन बोले अपने पैसे के रेट बताने के लिए टू बोले टू मैं चालीस रूपए स्क्वेयर फुट अलमारी लेता हूँ और बाकी लमसम में काम करता हूँ आपका वॉइस साइट सफलता पूर्वक बन चुका है दिस इज इन हिंदी Voyage and records the welcome message and gets information about charges and references from the plumber. It also supports calendaring services. By using the location tracking service, the plumber can be found for businesses even when he's away from his home zone. We tested Voyage and with a dozen people. Ten of them were able to create their voice site in under four minutes, and none had interacted with a conversational system before. Now that the plumber's voice site is created, let's imagine that a customer calls in. He or she gets directed to the plumber's voice site, interacts with it, schedules an appointment, and even orders a tap. A lot has happened here. He calls in to a search site, and then, based on the customer's location, is matched with the plumber, and the call gets forwarded to the plumber's voice site. After scheduling the appointment. The customer gets transferred to the hardware store's voice site over a VoIP link. Think of this as a hyperspeech link. Just as we have HTTP for the World Wide Web, we have defined HSTP, the hyperspeech transfer protocol, for doing this. Later on, the plumber calls his voice site to check his appointments, goes to the hardware store, picks up the tap. Goes to the customer's home and fixes it. These scenarios are just examples. We could have voice sites for healthcare, microfinance, education, retail, weather advisories, as well as disaster management. Thank you very much for your interest. If you want further information, please contact Shogatha Mukherjee or Amit Nanavati.